Today's focus set for the 84th Texas Legislature recently wrapped up and lawmakers passed nearly $4 billion in tax cuts. They beefed up border security and get ready for more highway and road work. Representative John Rainey from our 14th District is here to wrap all this up. First of all, thank you for joining us, sir. Good to have you back in town. Happy to be here and happy to be at home. Hey, I got I to gotta ask you because the Supreme Court for the last four or five days, they're, they're making the news. So you and your buddies are sitting there scratching your head going, Obamacare, same-sex marriage. What are your thoughts on uh, the recent headlines from the Supreme Court? You know, the Supreme Court does what the Supreme Court does. Uh, we are, uh, I think that I, I personally have been opposed to same-sex marriage. I, I, it's against my faith. But uh, we will have to uh, abide by what the court does. The same thing with Obamacare. I, I have been opposed to Obamacare. Uh, I don't like the rulings. But I don't know that there's anything we can do other than buy by the way our system is set up. So we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, let's talk about what you guys just did in Austin. Uh, spent several weeks. A lot of uh, important topics that are going to affect a lot of people here at home. Let's start, um, let's go with transportation first. Uh, we've got more road work coming. What did the uh, legislature decide on here? Well, the transportation probably is one of the most important things we can do. Uh, last session, uh, I'm talking about two years ago, we passed a legislation that uh, it was taking money out of uh, the rainy day fund and, or keeping it from going into the rainy day fund, as a matter of fact, and putting it into highways about two and a half billion. This, uh, this session, we saved about 1.3 billion by uh, changing diversions where money was going for, out of the transportation fund to help pay for DPS. So we're, that's, that's a $1.3 billion uh, increase. And then there's another about uh, uh, $2 billion or so that we're going to take out of, if SJ5, SJR5 passes, uh, we'll take out of sales tax and dedicate it to uh, highways. That's going to be putting about $5 billion, which is a number that uh, the tech start has been saying they needed for some time into transportation. It will not go into toll roads. It's just going to be into regular highways and it's not going to go into uh, high speed rail either. As somebody who travels often to Houston, I like hearing that, that it's not going to go into the toll roads. Let's uh, talk about, you talk about money, diversion, Blinn College. Um, your, your, your goal here was to take money uh, and put it, what you felt was in the right place, the right campus, more specifically the, the Blinn College campus here in Bryan. What happened with that? Well, we had a mixed bag here. Uh, we, In my opinion, we were very successful, first of all, because public is now aware of what's going on. Secondly, we passed a bill that will put two members from Brazos County on the, the board, uh, and they'll be on that board for the starting next January. And then, and they should have some input into how things are done. And then thirdly, we had another bill that uh, we failed to get it passed, but we put it in a rider in the appropriations bill, which will require all community colleges all over the state to report their funding and by campus. And that's one of the things that we weren't getting a very good picture of. And I'm not sure we yet have a good picture of how Blinn has operated in that regard. Um, I think that it goes without saying that this campus here in Bryan College Station is doing an excellent job of preparing students to attend Texas A&M and any other four-year college. Very high success rate. I've never been unhappy with, with the way they're operating it from an academic standpoint. I think, they, I think there's a lot of strain because I think there's lack of funding. But uh, I think we're headed in the right direction. Uh, I hope we don't have to come back next session and talk about Blinn. Uh, I hope that uh, things will be better. You said awareness is the key there. Um, hospital bills, uh, you've, or the hospital bill, uh, you said this was really one of the most important issues that you guys tackled. Explain what our from, viewers need to know. From a local issue, yes. Uh, our hospitals uh, lose a tremendous amount of money taking care of indigent care where they're not, they receive no compensation. Uh, what we did, we have a local provider participation program. The hospitals are going to be paying into a fund that the county administers. The county then can buy down federal dollars to help alleviate some of that cost of indigent care. I think it's a great, it was a great bill. It's something that 
will help our hospitals that, that take care of indigents uh, recoup some of those costs. It's federal dollars that we should have been getting. I've got about 30 seconds left. What's your proud moment from the past session? Well, you know, I got several of them. <laughs> um, I, my proud moment was d dealing with the blend situation uh -huh. because I think it's critical to our community. Uh, that was the most important thing that I think we did. And, and there's a lot of other things that we did that uh, have to do with uh, sheriff's deputies having been covered by uh, um, bond and being able to recoup uh, money for the tax office. Some good bills. I don't know if you can see it on TV, but he's, he's tanned in the face. Schlitterbahn with the grandkids yesterday. Oh, uh, you can't have any better fun than having <laughs> grandkids and going to Schlitterbahn. That's the truth. The representative, thank you so much for coming on and updating us on what happened with the legislature this past session. Happy to be here and glad to meet you. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.